This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our September 24th Palmer City Council meeting. Uh, first, I want to mention October 1 is our city election, and I think there are five candidates on the ballot um, vying for the top two vote getters will get seats for three year seats for the city council. And early voting is happening now, so Monday through Friday. Um, be this last week and then the upcoming week from 8 to 5 you can go to City Hall and cast your ballot there early so just want to mention that and I believe even on Monday uh, September 30th uh, early voting will be happening as well and then as far as the agenda goes for that meeting we've got approval of the minutes for the previous meeting uh, public hearing there's a rezo for uh, Chasing the designated authorized signatures for for, his, for checks and for other documents. Um, and there's a little more involved, but you probably should read it up on the packet if you want to know more about that. And there's an action memorandum for a non-objection for a liquor license for renewal for Turkey Red. And then we have also got just that little bit of business and then Committee of the Whole. So the Committee of the Whole is where the council kind of relaxes the rules and has discussions about things that are important. And I'm uh, wanting to have a 2025 budget strategy discussion. So I'm wanting to get a little bit ahead of the schedule on thinking about how the budget's going. Um, we won't actually see official budget documents with actual numbers, et cetera, until mid-October. But I want us to start some of these discussions and also kind of help our new manager kind of get a clue what, what we think is important to, and uh, what we should be focusing on. So one of the things I mentioned specifically is fees and fines. Uh, those are two of our, I think it's five budget documents that we have. And then it, it, it outlines and sets how much are fines for various actions, how much are fees for different activities. Um, but there's, in the past, past couple of years, we've had quite a few comments about that seems really kind of an old school thing, and that seems to not make any sense to what we're doing now. And I, I just want to make sure that if the council has some concerns about specific items in there, that um, they get it uh, mentioned so that the city manager and staff can, can work on those as we're going into the budget process. Uh, also, I've got a copy of our resolution for um, the capital projects and it's, it's kind of our five-year um, capital improvement program and we have we set up a document that we share with uh, state and fed and and nonprofits etc for projects that we uh, would be looking for help to do to accomplish and um, and I last year we did it in January but January is when the legislators are heading out to Juneau and I I would just as soon get it done a month or so earlier than that, just so that it's it's set. We can visit with the legislators before they start packing up to go down, down to Juneau and have a little more chance for discussion on that. And then another topic I've got on here is a transit participation by the city of Palmer. And uh, as, in I, as I mentioned in my marriage report, that technically the transit project is not, it's not connected to the MPO, the... Um, but it feels like a close cousin. Um, that's because it's kind of coming about because of the, uh, what, what do we call it, the designated urban status that the, the core area of the borough has. So it changes the funding. The funding for transit that was essentially Valley Transit was getting was like a 90-10 split. 90% covered by the federal government and then 10% by local match and I, I and I believe local uh, nonprofits were covering that uh, But now that we're considered urban that's supposed to go up to a 50 50 split and so there's supposed to be a 50% local match so <clears throat> the borough is um, applying to kind of become the the holder of the money for that but they're in the presentations we've had, they've been, they're looking for a local match. So in ours, the, the, well, if, if people remember right, that there was, uh, we had a presentation back in May and then on a couple of the slides, there was presentations that suggested two scenarios they're looking at was Palmer would be 151,000 and some change or 123,000 for some change, but it's 
It's one of those things, they are asking for it. They's not really an entity, but um, I, I want the council to have a discussion. What do we think about uh, local transit for, you know, and how it affects Palmer and, you know, how much should we be involved? Should we be involved at all? Should we have, uh, you know, more involvement, less involvement? And uh, I suspect if we get going a little bit on it, we'll probably have a robust discussion, I think is the term that we like to go. Uh, but we're kind of the first ones out of the gate on it, just the way uh, Wasilla's budget starts in, I think, July. The state starts in July. I think the Fed's is October 1, but ours is January 1, so we're kind of the first one coming into this, and so I guess we get to be the guinea pigs and have a bit of a discussion on it. Or you can look at it, we're going to be the trendsetters. So, um, and another discussion point, uh, for this meeting in this um, committee of the whole is uh, the timeline. Uh, we, we have our normal uh, council meetings, which are second and fourth Tuesdays, which would become October 8th, October 22nd, November 12th, and November 26th, and then December 10th and December 24th. Uh, but both, there's, there's, uh, there's difficulties with the December dates. Uh, December 24th, I think that's close to some holiday or something. Um, so we often will... Um, kind of forego having that meeting. And December 10th, actually, with the AML Winter Conference, it'll be in kind of full swing that week. And so that could be a difficulty. Uh, that's something for us to discuss. Um, but I wanted to also suggest that maybe we should look at having some of the Tuesdays in between our regular council meetings, like October 29th and November 5th, to um, have some of these discussions and make sure that we have enough time to to work through these things. Um, but for those that are not, you know, can't wait, they're chomping at the bit, they want to really work on this somehow, that you can go to uh, the city website, palmerak.org slash finance, and then there's budget documents. And you can look at the previous year's budgets, and that's always a good place to start is, well, what did we budget uh, last year? What did we budget two years ago? And how much did we actually spend uh, the actuals versus the budget? So that's what we've got coming up for our September 24th Palmer City Council meeting. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days in the, into the future. <laughs> <laughs>